Shakira currently lives in Barcelona, Spain in a stunning mansion that she purchased with her ex Gerard Piquet in 2015. It seems that post split, the singers continued to live in the home with their kids. And seeing the beautiful modern interiors, it's clear why she wouldn't want to move. Shakira also has owned a residence in Miami, Florida since 2001, which she's renovated a lot over the years. The contemporary spread here boasts over 9,000 square feet of space and is surrounded by palm trees. It said that the singer and her sons may make plans to move back to Florida in the near future. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Shakira's current home in Barcelona, Spain has been the subject of controversy in the past due to tax fraud allegations the other year. The singer was formerly accused of defrauding Spain's government of 14.5 million euros in taxes while she was living in Barcelona, listing Bahamas as her main address from 2012 to 2014 while she was reportedly living in Spain. Shakira had maintained her innocence and she rejected a settlement offered by the prosecution in her tax fraud case. Regardless, Shakira and her son Sasha and Milan are still currently living at their Barcelona address, where her ex Gerard Piquet once used to live with them too. Shakira first purchased their Barcelona residence back in 2015 with her now ex-partner, former footballer Gerard Piquet, and they lived there with their sons for a few years. After their split, Shakira remained in the house, at least for now, until she and her kids can make a move to Miami. The former couple reportedly spent $5.9 million on the mini mansion located in the posh neighborhood of Pedralbas in Barcelona, Spain. This home is said to boast nearly 15,000 square feet of space inside, along with seven bedrooms, two kitchens, and a whole variety of upscale amenities. Described as one of the best properties in the city, Shakira's house is set over three floors and was renovated by the couple before they had their first child in January 2013. With stunning sea views, the highlight is a large, bright and airy living room, which has been featured in many of Shakira's posts over the years. Also showing us the contemporary style of the interior. In fact, much of the inside of the home shows a modern, and sleek design. And you'll come to learn in this video that Shakira loves that look for her home. The main living room here offers a neutral theme with a cloud-like couch, huge TV, and floor-to-ceiling windows. It's been furnished with cream pillows and a very fluffy rug. The singer paired a white glass light with the off-white cabinet and a similar toned rug that brings a hint of warmth on the wood floors. The window also features white curtains. In another one of Shakira's posts, she showed the white aesthetic in a bedroom of the home. Here, she had a large white bed, off-white curtains, and a painting that actually brought some color and contrast to the space. Elsewhere on the property, there's a swimming pool with waterfall, lush gardens outside, a sprawling games room, and a home gym where Shakira likes to work out. In happier days, the family would hang out at this villa, making use of all those amenities together, even the home movie theater. But there were times of bad luck, even before Shakira and Gerard split up. In June 2018, this very mansion was targeted by burglars, and with a former couple away, PK's parents were actually sleeping upstairs when the home was broken into. And those robbers, they got away with expensive watches and jewelry. Since the couple confirmed their separation, the pair had reached a custody agreement for their son, which allowed Shakira to relocate with them to her mansion in Miami, giving Gerard 10 days a month with them. Given that the couple was not married, they'll likely have equal stakes in their shared properties when dividing their assets. Now things, however, have been as dramatic as they can get, with Shakira's viral diss track about her ex. And even before that, footage had emerged that reportedly showed Gerard's girlfriend, Clara Chiamarti, age 23, in the family home in Barcelona nearly a year before his split from Shakira, when she was in the background of a Zoom interview. While Gerard and the girlfriend live in an apartment, Elsewhere in Barcelona, Shakira still lives in this mansion with their sons for now. Plans to sell this home for a reported $14.6 million were actually put on hold as she 
Shakira is delaying her move to Miami for a few months due to her father's ill health and his inability to fly. Shakira's dad suffered a nasty fall last year and she had been supporting him with his recovery. When Shakira and the kids do move back to Miami, Florida, they have a stunning home waiting for them there. Way back in 2001, Shakira bought this mansion for $3.38 million. And while in 2013 it was available for rent and more recently she had it on the market for a whopping $11.6 million, it seems that she decided to keep the place, at least for now. Shakira's mansion is located in the prestigious North Bay Road neighborhood of Miami Beach, of course tucked away for privacy with a large steel gate surrounding it. Once you get past security, you're greeted by a wide driveway lined with hedges and a two-car garage, as well as a sprawling motor court. The home, which spans a reported 9,125 square feet of space inside, is surrounded by waterfront, as well as a ton of palm trees, and it also offers up six bedrooms and seven and a half baths. Features of the home's interior include decorative mirrors, Venetian plaster walls, and more, which gives Shakira's home a contemporary and vaguely Middle Eastern vibe. Since owning the sprawling property, the singer has carried out plenty of renovations and updates to this space, and its current iteration is very modern and minimalistic, a theme which we know Shakira loves. The interiors are very airy and show off plenty of soaring ceilings, white walls, and hardwood floors throughout. There's a formal dining room with a spacious table, as well as a living room with glass sliders that opens up to the backyard. Also on the main level of her home, and included in the flowing floor plan, is the gourmet kitchen, which is a large island with a built-in snack counter, dining table, and breakfast nook overlooking a lush courtyard. Behind the kitchen, there's an entertainment wing that extends off the back of the house, where you'll find a media area with sound equipment and an additional billiards area. Other features include an office suite with built-in desk area where Shakira likes to display her many awards, a stunning hookah lounge as well as a spacious home gym. In the gym she even added special flooring so she can practice her signature dance moves. Two of the six bedrooms in her home are big enough to be the master suite. One of them sits on top of the entertainment wing and has pink accents in the room, a bathroom with Venetian mirrors and a private roof covered terrace. Some of the many updates Shakira has carried out since the initial purchase included installing new wood floors imported from Spain, all new landscaping, custom made furniture, and updated lighting both inside and outside. Moving out to her backyard, there's a large deck big enough for parties. It almost resembles a beach club, which of course all surrounds the sparkling pool. There are also sunbeds and loungers all over and a poolside dining cabana with a wet bar. Not to mention, hidden behind some palm trees, there's even a private dock to take advantage of all of that home's waterfront location. Despite Shakira's life being full of drama at the moment, at least she has some lavish properties to choose from to retreat to with her sons. For now, her Miami crib will wait for her arrival until she decides to move from Barcelona. That being said, I think we'll conclude today's house tour here. Let me know your thoughts on Shakira's homes, and before you go, answer me this. If your partner cheated on you and had that same person stay in the home that you lived in behind your back, would you continue living there and keep the home for yourself, or would you decide to have a fresh start in another house that hasn't been contaminated? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. My name is Kira the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat more, and I'll see you all on the next tour. Bye!